Let's make some fried chicken. So as I mentioned yesterday, um, we uh, uh, we already marinated our chicken. We seasoned it with salt, right, uh, to let a lot of the juice come out. And then oh, I'm almost out of flour. And then um, we uh, put some uh, yogurt in it. And what that did was that basically made it so that um, it would create kind of like a buttermilk, uh, you know, in a sense, because a lot of the liquid's going to come out of that chicken, and it's going to kind of create its own marinade, like in a really cool kind of way. So uh, just like yesterday, we got uh, a three-to-one flour to cornstarch ratio. Um, I'm going to get the oil heated up here, so we're going to turn this on medium. Got our thermometer, and yes, this is the oil from yesterday, and no, I didn't clean it. Doesn't need to be cleaned. It maybe would be better, but whatever, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. Uh, just like yesterday, I still don't have garlic powder, so we're gonna cut some fresh garlic. So let me get my handy dandy cutting board. I don't really want to dirty another knife. Let me watch this knife over here real quick. Got my dirty dishes in the sink here so you folks can't see it, you know, so to give the impression that I'm not a slob. When in reality, I'm a, kind of a slob. It's not much, it's just from lunch and stuff today. Oops. So, but, you know, not very conducive for, you know, streaming and showing people stuff so anyway all right so we got our knife gonna take the ends off the garlic you know these are just some little odds and end garlic some little guys here that in the bin take these little skinnies off the skinsies if you would oh pretty clear it looks pretty clear from what i'm seeing uh i mean i'm pretty happy with the stream quality uh, if anybody is watching please let me know what you think in the chat i would love to know it seems pretty spot on also curious as to the audio so please let me know any comments you may or may not have i guess if you don't have comments then you wouldn't let me know so that was kind of a dumb fucking thing to say wasn't it But, yeah, if there's anything that seems off, let me know. Again, I'm just, I'm literally streaming on two phones and an iPad, so my uh, <laughs> my ability is pretty limited. But, uh, you know, whomever made this uh, gateway or whatever you would call it, this browser is a, a pretty amazing person in my eyes. And especially for free, man. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, he's Canadian, so I mean, go figure, but still. And I mean that in a positive, you know, Canadians are just amazing people. They're, in general, overall, I mean, not, not all of them. I'm sure there's, like, some Canadian serial killer awful person out there. I mean, I've never met one, but um, I guess if I'd met a serial killer, I probably wouldn't be able to speak about it, would I? I mean, I'm saying some really stupid shit. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> Like, what is wrong? Like, did I have brain damage earlier? Like, what is wrong with me? Yeah, the one serial killer I met, he was real nice. He, like, offered me a, a bottle of water before he turned me into a skin suit and a lamp. It was, uh, was sweet of him, you know? I thought he was, I thought he was very uh, hospitable, you know, putting me in a well. And, you know, he said it puts the oil or the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. Please. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, Jesus. Fucking a polite serial killer. Can you imagine that? Um, excuse me, do you mind if um uh you came back to my place and uh I ate you and uh you know just had my sexual way with you? Don't uh, as long as it's consensual. 
<laughs> that's that's a funny idea. What's the <laughs> the Generation Z serial killer asking consent before uh, raping and murdering their victims? <laughs> Um, excuse me, my pronoun is he, him, not they. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, please, uh, when you tell the police who whom abducted you, uh, you use he, him. Or you could even use him, sir, which is fine with me. But I, I would really appreciate it if, if you didn't, um, you know, tell anybody. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Is this even in here? Oh, if I know. Doesn't feel very important. I'm going to turn this up high because I don't have a lot to do tonight, so. All right, so here's our marinated chicken I did last night. Some gorgeous, gorgeous chicken over here. Um, Got to wait for this to heat up, to be honest. So, you know, I guess we're just standing around for the time being i can pull out the sides again those are already done and hot i'm just going to microwave them uh, basically in what i put them in here so we got the the old mac mash taters mash taters we've got the them them green beans good stuff they old it'll be fine All right, we're at one thirty. So, yeah, that's uh that's about that. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't, I don't really have anything. I, mean, I guess I could talk longer about Generation Z serial killers. <laughs> that's, that's just such a dumb concept. <laughs> oh man, just being all woke and shit. Like, um, our I made sure to diversify my kills. Uh, while I was molested by my mother, and I do have uh, mother issues, uh, you know, I really want to make sure that I'm inclusive of all genders, sexes, um, uh, and and races. So, you know, I like to mix between, you know, all, all kinds of people. But don't take it too seriously. Oh, wait. Is that a body positive woman? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry>. oh. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up so much. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that a great big body positive woman? <laughs> oh, I'm cracking myself up over here. <laughs> I want to text my buddy that, see what he has to say. Oh, shoot. I just zoomed in. Did not mean to do that. I didn't know I could do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We're at 220. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, what do you think? Did I drop anything? Did I drop something, buddy? I don't think I did. What do you think, Bubby? Is there something yummy on the floor? Oh, he's so happy. All I gotta do is look at him and he just starts wagging his belly like, oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, don't you, I mean how do you not love dogs? Like, they're just so happy to see you. Um... Or at least most of them. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're a dick and your dog isn't happy. But mine are quite excited to see me. Um, like they're just, it's just so amazing. Like no matter how shitty of a day you had, you come home. They're like, oh my god, it's you. You are the, you are so awesome. Do you know how awesome you are? Like that's 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 having a dog. Whereas cats will just eat your face, excluding the eyeballs, as we learned. Um, apparently, cats do not particularly have a, uh, a taste for eyeballs lips nose 
um and you know face in general yeah yeah you know, they'll, they'll eat that um you know so yeah cats kind of suck right at least i think so i don't know maybe that's just me i'm going to turn this camera just to hair that way let's see what that does i like that a little bit better gets uh more of a full shot i don't have to stand so close to the stove Again, if you're watching this, this is just a test. I just wanted to see how everything goes. Um, and hopefully I can chop this up a little bit. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to have cameras that don't suck. So we'll see. All right, we're at about 3.30. It's going to get to 3.50 pretty fast here. So with that, let's start dredging our chicken. So I don't like shit on my hands in general. So I wear gloves for this type of stuff. In fact, I'm going to put two gloves on because I just, I really don't want to deal with it. Um, it's not great for the environment, but you know, you choose your battles. Oh shoot. I forgot salt and pepper on this. My bad. I could have done that instead of, you know, doing my Generation Z Buffalo Bill. Oh, wait. Is that a great big body positive one? Or person. That's what it'd be. <laughs> Is that a great big body positive, non gender specific person? Oh shit, that's really hot. Oopsies. Yep, went too hot. We're at about 375 right now, which is, uh, you can turn to burn it. Oh, oh shucks. It's okay. We're going to put these in and it's going to cool it down real fast. Okay, shake off the excess. Then right in the oil. Grab the next one. I've noticed I'm using my hand that did not have the flour on it so that it doesn't get super cakey. That needs to come off. The piece of bone I just saw. So now we're going to throw the flour on here. And this is the last one, so I'm not too worried about getting my hands in it. So, okay, shake off the excess. Okay, let's do it. A, a hair more in there. And there's that. I'm a little worried because the oven was so hot, I might need to finish this in the oven. So just as a precaution, I'm going to turn the oven on. Um, man, too bad. I made way too much fried. I could have saved that. We're not making any more fried chicken in this household this week. Otherwise, we'd be a 1,000 pounds. So that unfortunately goes in the bin. It is what it is. I could always freeze. Fuck, but I'm not that much of a cheap fuck. All right, so, yeah, you see how quickly that's browning? That's too fast. That was, the oil got way too hot there. And I really want it, I probably should do it at, like, 325, honestly, not even 350. Um, how did I think of it? Yeah, see, look, look at that. That was way too hot. So I'm going to flip them here so that they don't burn. On that one side, and while the oil cools down, and then it'll go lower. So that's basically the idea there. Let me get rid of this. Uh... All right, folks, I'm going back to the kitchen, and we're going to check out this chicken. All right, gonna kill the heat here. Is it wrong or? No, I'm, no, I'm sure it's done. It was at like 140 something. That's no, perfect. So, if you're still watching, Major, I know you thought that it was overcooked. Which, which one's better? Maybe this one? I know you thought it was overcooked, but look at that, that's perfect. It's a little bit darker than you maybe you would get at a restaurant, but I'm telling you, this is fine. It's not gonna be burnt. It's not gonna taste nasty. This is absolutely perfect. It's going to be crispy all the way around, super juicy. One of the reasons I love chicken thighs. And that's it, guys. That is your amazing, uh, for my UK friends, that is uh, your, or I should say my non-American friends, that is your American fried chicken right there. You don't get any better than that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. How jealous are you? You should be super jealous.